Okay, uh, been a little, I haven't been inactive, I just haven't been filming. Now this is what's going down. Here's the wheel. Pretty wheel. And here's how it's going to attach. I gotta bore this out to the half inch so it'll fit the shaft, which is somewhere. And this took two days to make this piece of cutting board. Uh, each one of these notches is cut out specifically for the spacing on these eight nuts. And where's number one? Here's number one, and there's number one. And if we go like this, there you go. Now, the notches are to actually keep it from rotating. There's no play in the rotation. I had to put heat shrink on just four of them to take up the slack. And I put it in a different direction. It'll fit. Actually, it fits just fine, too. Because it's opposed of that. If I put it here, it might not fit as easily. Or no, not at all. Ugh, shit. All right. Point to the matter of the story. That's eight notches. And in here, I've got six neodymium magnets. And these are half inch long because they go straight through to the back. They're covered with this uh, the speaker foam. And three eighths across. And I have foam on them because if I put it magnet to metal like that, which I could demonstrate with my extra back plate. Yeah. That's, that's all right. I think there's probably a little more than a sixteenth of an inch space. And it's alright, it's just like, meh, magnet. If I turn this around and put the exposed magnet to that metal, do this without getting injured. Mm. No, there's just no. There's no getting that off. Uh, screwdriver. Yeah, so the magnets can't get that close to touch the metal, or I'll never get my... Shit. I'll never get my steering wheel off. So I've got to find a thickness between that, which is too weak, and absolute touching, which is insane. And that'll hold my steering wheel on to my sim rig. And when I want to detach it, I'm just going to go... Yoink. Or actually, it's probably going to be a twisting action to get it off. But it'll never fall off while I'm driving. With this, with this thickness, maybe... But I don't think once I get this right, yeah. So there's, there's, there's just not enough. You can tell it's not permanent enough. So slightly thinner, probably just layers of tape on top of this. And that's what I'm going to see when I pull this off my shaft here, which I can now finish because I bought more washers because I was out of washers. Once I finish that, this is just going to be what's sticking out of my desk. That big metal fucker, this, and that right on top of it. And that's all that's going to be exposed. I'm like, what the hell is that for? And this is going to end up going on the wall, probably. I'll make either another one of these or just put a magnet. I've got extra magnets. Magnets are cool. What else did I do? What else has been done? Oh. Steering wheel down. Magnet plate thing down. Motor up. What I bought. It's dusty already. I had to buy a hole saw. A lot of money's been spent on just tools. Forget about the damn parts for this. If you don't have the tools, you're not going to be able to do it. So, this. I had to buy the hole saw to cut these out. These are just out of the same cutting board that I have on my desk here and all over the place. And these, the same thing I did over there where I notched out the edges. I'm going to get notched out one, two, three times and fit right in there. And I'm going to do two of them. And I'm going to do two of them and then a wa lock washer between them. And they're going to go in there and that's going to be, as long as I take my time on this, do rough holes and then spend six hours with a goddamn rasp like I did on the other one. Just fucking rasping it out gently, a little baby at a time, chesting it testing it then these should fit perfectly that'll fit perfectly I'll make these holes bigger I got to get my half inch step drill 
bit, put these at a half inch hole, perfectly centered, and then these will line up in there. Hopefully they don't line up all the way. I wanted to actually, you know, grab it. I wanted to get a little bit bound in there with the half inch rod right through the middle of it. And that's that's it. That's as good as you're gonna get. Because these are the ones that are holding the wheel on anyway, these plastic little oh Christ, camera on my head. Screw things. And that's a straight shaft, so boom, boom. Lots of rasping about to come up. Boring, boring rasping. First, I got to figure out how I'm going to, because these aren't equally distant apart. I think this distance is slightly narrower than this. So I really got to make sure I get this right. I guess I could just mark it, do a small drill hole, and then just go crazy. And these are easy enough to make. I can make 50 of these if I screw one up. It's just a pain in the ass once you do screw it up. And then I got to put the board back, and I can put it all together, and then I got to spend two weeks trying to figure out how to mount the fucking thing on my desk. I say fuck a lot from New York. What do you want from me? Uh, anything else on the agenda? Snapple is good. The brackets are pretty. The cutoff wheel you saw. Speakers. What do I do with speakers? Not really. Good. <laughs> Play me a winner, Bobby. And it's gonna crash. Oh well. Wait, camera first. Alright, ignoring the sound of the fans, here are the completed pieces. Some dirt off that. Voila. Voila. Obviously they're not cleaned up, and the center hole needs to be made bigger. But two of those, here's the other one. O for outside, because I gotta be both on the outside, it's the tightest fit. They wobble this way, and that's fine, as long as they don't turn Alright, so two of these in a row shoved in on the drive shaft and that's that's it. It's just a matter of locking these down with lock washers glue, may put a set screw in, I'm not sure. I could just do a set screw right through the top if I really thought they were gonna move, but I don't think once I crush them down they're not going in there. I gotta worry about the shaft turning inside of them. But it's a threaded rod, and I'm going to have massive lock washers on them. And it's going to extend out, and then have that on it. And we'll be good. We'll be cherry. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, this thing's pointing straight up. I'm not filming anything. Stupid slag. Well, you'll figure it out. This is mad science hour, not completely capable science hour. Why isn't that falling down into the hole? There we go. Thank God this is nice and slow. Not a complaint. Okay. I'm not hallucinating. These four. Oh, my God. oh, completely flush, and it'll still be strong. Next. Turbidity. That's a word. Oh god, I feel like I'm losing it out in quiet mode. Good. Turn again. Cutting board for everything. If I had an extra piece of cutting board, I'd use it for that too. Check it 
more than twice, do so. Three so far, look good. And of course, in the last one, you fuck up completely and ruin everything. It's a rule. No handyman can go without doing that. You get impatient, you're like, oh, I'll just do this in one shot next time. Push down with a little more force than you did before, and you just fuck it up. Actually, a little shallow. Should be done more. Where that fucking nut go? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, 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 four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. This is what I have. I have perfect vision. I can't see a goddamn thing. Shut up, children. Okay. Slightly above. Slightly above. Nearly flush. Nearly flush. So these two are just... that time. Game of Thrones. Oh god, Game of Thrones is playing. That's completely flush and underneath. As that is. That sticks up just a hair. And that's a little bit more of a hair. So let's do... That should literally be it. Good. Yes. That's how we get things done, and now there's a mess here. So I have... Just, just missing one of those. Now. Ah, anger. Tape. Oh, bad news, everyone. Uh, turns out these six magnets are not enough. I need to add another six magnets. I use the three ace ones. But, uh, yeah, when you put a lot of leverage on that thing, I have the whole shaft on here now. I opened all these up. It's not enough. So, I gotta get my brother's good drill bit because my drill bits are all, like, I don't know, quarter size too big. It's ridiculous. And then I'm. Oh, God, not only on electronics. No. This is good. This is done. Here's the bolt that I couldn't see because it was standing up. No one ever expects that. These are finished and threaded and a mess, but it won't matter because I could be buried in there. So, done, done. Just clean this shit off my desk. Lighter. Where do you belong? There's no home. I don't know what that was. That's fine. Don't know what I'm gonna do with those. My brother had those. I'm like, oh, I could probably use those. They're really too long to do stands off of anything with precision. This. Five sixteen squashes. I need those. I have to cut these with the cutoff wheel tomorrow because they're too long. And then I could mount that piece and 
then there's more to do later though.